What is going on, guys? We are back with another video today, and we are doing a rebuild of the Bills. Of course, it's a realistic style rebuild. I know. Maybe you're thinking, hey, the Bills don't need a rebuild, right? Josh Allen is like the greatest quarterback of all time this season somehow after being very bad last season. Uh, but the Bills are 4-2, and right? I think at this point they're 4-2. and They're not set in stone, right? The Bills can easily choke it away. Their roster is definitely one of those rosters that always overachieves. A lot of times you look at the roster like, how is their defense so good? And then out of nowhere, you know, they're just good. <laughs> you know, I mean, you're going to see even in this one, 83 overall for a team that just looks really solid and just has for, on defense for years. Uh, and now, of course, they have a good quarterback and Stephon Diggs has been like one of the best trade pieces you could ever trade for. Uh, regardless, though, we're about to get going on this realistic journey. Maybe it takes all day. Maybe it doesn't. For anyone, like I said, complaining about, oh, they don't need to do a realistic rebuild. Go look at every single rebuild we've done. Count how many times the Bills have won the Super Bowl. Just do it. Just do it. If I'm not mistaken, which I very well could be, I'm mistaken in everything in life. I don't think they've won a single rebuild in our single, well, not rebuild, you know what I mean. In a single, uh, single Super Bowl in any of our rebuilds, any of them. If I'm not mistaken, go back and look. But once you realize how much of a waste of time it is, don't come back crying here uh, because it's not my fault. I should be looking at the roster the proper way. And if you like rebuilds and you like franchise, maybe leave a like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter, Jerome Care. Let's get this rebuild to more likes than Josh Allen has picks in a season. That's hard to do. Not this season, though. Actually, that's actually really easy to do if you think about this season. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, as far as receivers, though, Diggs is young. The rest are not. Cole Beasley, it's crazy to me. I don't know. Maybe I mean, he is a slot receiver anyways. But he's always got a decent overall. But his ratings, like his stats in real life, are kind of bad every year, right? Like, I don't know how he's doing this year, but, like, I don't think he's had more than 500 yards in a single season. Maybe I'm on drugs. I don't know. John Brown, of course, another burner. Not really looking too fast in Madden. Devin Singletary, 83 overall, 22. However, you know, literally slower than Vince Wolfork. It always comes back to Vince. What do you want? I will say, though, that juke move and change of direction is filthy. But that speed is so bad, it's ridiculous. Uh, Dawson Knox is star development. I love it. Uh, Jordan Porter and Micah Hyde always fighting for who's the best safety on the, uh, the team. And usually Micah Hyde wins by one. However, off the field, Jordan Poyer wins because his wife has big, big personality that probably makes him very happy. You know, it's just you got to have somebody that you can vibe with. You know, you can chill with, watch movies and Netflix shows and such. Uh, I don't know if I want Norman to start at all. I don't know when he got here or why he got here, but like... He should leave. Uh, AJ Epinesa, kind of like a hybrid type. Trent Bra Murphy is getting paid a lot of money to not be super great. So I'm thinking we're going to trade him, save some money, do a little dance, fail the rebuild, simply put. So uh, Murphy's Law over here traded for a fifth round pick. Trading the division. Oh, yeah, true. I didn't even realize it was the Dolphins. Who cares? Here's the thing. You know... Buffalo is trying to uh, trying to get at me here with the trade in the division isn't realistic, right? But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. The Dolphins are so bad, no one cares. No one cares. They will just take anything. You will give them anything because you want their picks because it's bad. And you don't care because your players are going to suck there anyway. So, you know, whatever, dude. Maybe that applies, but not to the Dolphins. The Dolphins aren't a rival. They are a punching bag. And, and you got the Jets as well. Like, uh, There's nothing the Bills can do here to make any other team be better than that them. Just simply put. Regardless, this is the Season 1 roster, of course. Andre Roberts is superstar development. I feel like people are going to like cry in the comment section if I don't at least mention, like, hey, look what you did. You ruined Andre Roberts. Like, mate, he's a return man. Cool. He's 72. You know, he's 32 years old, 70 overall superstar development. Who cares, you know? Uh, but as far as the offense goes, Knox, hopefully the tight end for the future. Uh, Morse has star. Dawkins has star. Once again, I was exposing EA by saying they have a lack of O-line dev up system. So they're just going to give everyone that's kind of half young, half decent star now just to quiet everyone from the franchise community. Surprisingly enough, Cole Beasley, 84 overall, 83 for Brown. And then Diggs, you know, a guy that a lot of Vikings fans are probably crying and saying, 
he would just do nothing without Thielen. He's kind of killing it. He's kind of killing it, and he looks absolutely insane. Devin Singletary, 22 years old, slowest man on the planet, but very agile, very elusive. Got to like that out of him, and he never does well in Sims, so that sucks. Josh Allen, the strongest arm in the entire NFL. Those accuracy ratings are a little disrespectful coming off of you know a really good start to the season so far, but... It's better than, like, normal development Josh Allen that I believe he started with uh, in this game. So, I mean, he's come a far way. Maybe he'll get, you know, a dev up again. Maybe get to, like, 88, 89 by the end of the season. Uh, Tredavious White, some would argue maybe the best corner in football right now. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know. I still think Jalen's obviously sick. Marlon Humphrey's really good. Tredavious White's obviously great. Gilmore's a beast. Those top five, probably, you know, Jalen, uh, Jair Alexander, probably up there. But Tredavious White, probably a top three corner in the league right now. 90 overall, Superstar X Factor, looks really, really good. Uh, Jerry Hughes, 82 overall, very, very old. Uh, he's going to be on the same wavelength as, uh, not Cole Beasy, Andre Roberts. That's a guy, 86 finesse, though. I really like it. I like it a lot. Uh, AJ Epinesa, 72 overall, Kind of more of a big guy rather than an edge rusher, but we're going to make the argument he's got enough versatility. Oliver's not happy about it. He's like, I have no help here. <laughs> uh, Phillips, the number two guy, probably will move AJ over to him. As far as linebackers go, Tremaine, Milano, both star development. Klein on the decline because obviously he's on the older side, was a Panther player for quite some time. I like to see these kind of guys thrive, though, because, you know, it's like the average guy like us having a chance in the league. Micah Hyde, superstar development. I feel like they, they fight with this man so much. Is he a star? Is he a superstar? I don't know. Poyer, same deal. 86 overall with only star, though. And then corner, some young guys, but who do you keep? That's the question. Uh, let's go. Matt Milano. Oh, my. Um, okay, so Matt Milano may be a tag, if that... Levi Wallace gets levi off the team quite a bit. I think a 3 or 15 is fair. I really do. Uh, Brian Winters, I think he's a little overrated. You know, he was okay for one year with the Jets, and then, you know, he let, you know, obviously they let him go, and, you know. But I think he's a little overrated, but obviously it's 76 overall normal at 29. is not really going to get you much anyways. So looking at, I mean, looking at these re signings, I don't really like any of them, to be honest. They're all just backups and... Old players. Andre Roberts, I mean, cool, but, like, he's going to regress or retire. I don't care if he has superstar. It's probably going to be the end of the road for him. Uh, the punter, we might actually. Let's get the punter back. We get the punter back, and then as far as Milano goes, he's at that P, you know, point where he's not going to be able to really dev up, right? 12K, just about 11K for an upgrade at 80 overall, over 10 mil per year. Yikers. Yikers. Why is the bitrate so stupid? I think we're just going to tag him, honestly, and then just, let's just go on. Nothing else we can do. All right, headed to the playoffs, by the way. Uh, not in it. 7-9. and nine. An absolute choke job of the season. At one point, we were 6-3. and three. We lost all of those games. <laughs> Look at that. To the Cardinals, the Char In fairness, we did have... Uh, a lot of time. Oh, the Bills are in for a tough time. You know, you got the Titans, Chiefs, Jets are kind of, I mean, they're, they're they're just not even a real team at this point. The Patriots, I still think the Bills probably win that game. Seahawks, that's a loss, loss, potential loss, loss, loss. Should be a win, should be a win, should be a win. How do you lose the Dolphins at the end? <laughs> All right, looking at the league passer uh, rating of Josh Allen, did that say 41st? I guess that doesn't really count, does it? That's kind of, uh, you know, a cop-out. And the Vikings don't have a passing defense. I don't care how many points they put up a Lions beat them the next week. Okay. Uh, the Atomic Gamer with another 99 bits. 99 bits and a um, winning season ain't won. I don't know, dude. Any rookies catching your eye so far? A few. I mean, it hurts seeing Justin Jefferson dominate, knowing that I wanted him and I thought we were trade up, but we didn't. Got to love the Patrick Queen pass as well. Sweet. Yeah, good night, awesome Chiefs fan. Appreciate it. But here we are uh, looking at the stats. Josh Allen, I mean, that's not bad, but we expected more. 
Devin Singletary, it's not bad. I can't say expect him more because he is very slow, but not bad yards per carry. Cole Beasley with the best season of the three. Stephon Diggs, really good player, so I'm not mad. Dawson Knox, please be enough to go to Superstar. That would be so huge. We need wide receivers. This team just needs wide receivers. The two guys we have there either may retire or they're just going to regress hard because they're old. Jerry Hughes, same with him, nine sacks. I'm just saying, oh, the Bills are such an easy team. They're doing so well. They old, and we did not make the playoffs. So, you know, that's a season down the drain, and we're only going to get worse as the years go on. Looking at the MVP, it goes to Mr. Ryan Tannehill. Nick Foles at four. Get out of here. As far as the awards go, Josh Allen at nine. Defensive players, no. Offensive rookies, no. Uh, we had AJ Epinesa at five. Who the hell did the Bills draft, by the way? Is there like a big player I'm forgetting? I know they got, they had, you know, they lost their first round, but like, I feel like the Bills don't even have a single rookie player besides AJ Epinesa. All right, let's go to the Super Bowl because we suck. The Cowboys win the Super Bowl 31 to 24. Uh, over the Browns. As far as DevOps go, I really wish Knox would have got one, but he does have a lot of XP. Uh, you know, no real, well, upgrades anyways. No real DevOps at all. As far as defensively goes, we should have one. Yeah, Milano is one of those DevOps. The only DevOp, unfortunately, though. Milano, gonna get the tag regardless, but I just can't feel wrong. I can't feel bad about not signing him because that contract was so much. He's about to be an 82 overall, maybe push to 83, but I'll tag him. Uh, I don't feel bad about it. Uh, Milano pretty much asking for the same contract, just less years. How much does he want? No, he's wanting... Might even want slightly more, no? A four-year 45, take it. Test out free agency, lol. 13.8 tag for Matt Milano. Uh, Brian Winters, we can get better probably. We're losing a lot of players here. Not very talented ones, but the thing I am worried about is... Do we have the capital to replace those positions with better players anyways? You know, success is from the running backs. I wouldn't I don't know if I can really even say underrated, honestly. Running back set, Marcus Williams could use a starter, but eh. Gronk, no thank you. Keanu Neal would be nice, but meh. Center can't really do it. Mitch Morris played guard at one point, I thought. But maybe I'm wrong. Uh Sheldon Rankins, the DT position is not super easy to get. Oh my god, we're broke. Yo, who said the Bills is an easy team to rebuild? They ain't that easy now. Let's take a look and see if we have anyone we can get rid of. Okay, so what's happening here that we're so broke? Because the contracts aren't that expensive. For I mean, you're not getting much off of Addison. I'm going to keep him. John Brown, option. Hughes, I mean, he's our best pass rusher. Kind of have to keep him. Vernon Butler, please. Thank you. See you later, Vernon Butler. That's a big savings. Cole Beasley. Can we get rid of... Cole Beasley is good for us, though. I can't just keep getting rid of players just because they're old. All right, see you later, Quentin Jefferson. Sounds like he was in the chat and I was just like, all right, good night. Allen, we got to pay? Oh, no. Oh, Lord. That's not good. Of course, the only contracts we get is one, Andre Roberts, and then two, we get rejected by Sheldon Rankins. Let's move on to the next one. We get Everson Griffin to uh, potentially play over AJ Epinesa, and then we move AJ Epinesa to DT. Really kind of comes down to what is available in the draft. As far as right now goes, right tackle is a must-need position. Wide receiver will look at it, but it's not the biggest need for this actual season. Outside linebacker, corner, D-line's really the biggest issue. DB and D-line is really where you're, you're really lacking. Have you guys done a Bills rebuild? It seems like the Bills just cannot command anyone to come to this damn team. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. We're going to sign him long term, but I don't think you give him the fifth year option. If you hold off on upgrading a little bit, you might be able to get him for like 22, 25 per year. It's hard as a team to like factor how much Josh Allen's worth. Tremaine Advent, same deal. Give him a long term deal later. All right. So, of course, pretty much everything we wanted is still there. Uh, I mean, this guy, Jalen Haynes, is still there. We desperately need pass rusher, but do we wait for one of the other players we have, like Prewitt? Uh, of course, like I said, we did sell hard because we just didn't have the scouting. I just can't believe how many good players were in this. We trade pick nine, Zach Moss, and Phillips for 17 and 33. I'm hoping we get that running back now because uh, 
Just saying. We we kind of traded a young running back that this team probably wanted to use. Nick Ventura. I mean, can the Jets just make the play? As far as the draft goes, of course, you have Earl Madden, who looks so good, but you just don't need a tight end. Same with Matt Wall. Uh, middle linebacker Ronnie Patterson looks decent. As far as what this team needs, though, Jerry Ware, Prewitt, very high on the list for us. I think you got to go Prewitt. I think, uh, you know, whether you want to keep him at DT or put him at edge, he's just too good not to grab. Dwayne Prewitt, please be hidden. Really? Okay, I mean, obviously a really good pick, 77 overall. Normal dev, unfortunately, super fast. You can play him either side. I do not know where we'll be playing him, but obviously an amazing pick. Just You win some, you lose a lot. Jerry Ware went very high there. Falcons, of all the teams, did they really need him that bad? I thought what a Ronnie Patterson would have went higher than him. He looks better, debatably. <laughs> and then the line's like, we'll draft quad linebacker too. <laughs> yikes. Unless he's got dev, that's a yikes. Pick 22, 73 in Star Lele to move up to 22. Uh, I already regret this decision wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. I traded up for a potential wide receiver or corner. I do not know who to take. Mr. Brendan Moore, please be good. He is good. 75 overall. Unfortunately, another hidden with that catching, though. That is a very good corner. I can't even lie. 5'10 is a little short, but... He is very, very good. All right, 41, a fifth, and a fifth for 56 and 88. I feel like we've been robbed and defeated, but hopefully Tennessee picks someone bad. Nice, a 75 overall safety. We made Tennessee better and got scammed. Nice. All right, so our tackle is still there. Glenn Singer, hidden, please. 72 overall. Basically a plug-and-play starter compared to what we have, but once again... Scammed by the EA generation system. If you draft a tackle that isn't a real-life class player in a fran uh, franchise, you're just going to take the L. Let's just be honest. Regardless, Devontae Yates, probably our only hidden of the draft, or not. 69 overall, very fast, kind of raw. That's how I like it, fast and raw. Oh, risking it. Risking it for the combine skipper. 68 overall. Uh, all right, I mean, I guess, you know what, we need the lineman. We're going to go with Mr. Tracy Bedell. Please hit him. One of them. Wow. With those combine grade, with that combine grade and those skills, that is low. We didn't get a single hit in. Uh, we did miss a few players, though, so we passed on a few. We missed a few. Let's see what we could have had. So as far as our outside linebacker goes, Mr. Jalen Haynes. Please, Jalen, don't do it to me. Just do not do it to me. If he's higher than star, I will cry. I will. I don't care. I will do it. Madden 19 throw. Uh, oh. I'm already playing Madden 19. <laughs> I got him. All right, so another guy we could have had and we were debating on going for. We passed on Jerry Ware. Glad the Falcons get yet another athletic linebacker to work with. Sweet. And he's superstar. Let's go. Who? Hello. Damon Bartell. This is why it doesn't matter. This rebuild is going in a direction that may not be favorable. We have some upgrades, but I do... Well, we're going to use all the upgrades except for Josh Allen. I'm going to try to cheese him. I'm going to try to get him for cheaper. Uh, offensive line in shambles. It is not great, but our cap situation should be good coming into the next season. Hopefully. Uh, Evers and Griffin playing left. Hughes at right. Oliver and Prewitt. So the DTs are fine because they're young. They're good. But the edge, obviously need to address that. Safeties, probably need to address that. Klein, obviously needs to be addressed. He shouldn't even be here still. Yet here he is. Corners, hopefully more can get a dev up playing the slot and, you know, number two role. Kind of just play him in the best position. Hopefully that's what they do. And then John Ross, be my guy. Please be my guy. Okay, we, we got it. Let's just do it. Please, John, for the love of John. Do you even understand John? Please do it. That is elite. Elite level football right there. And John Ross's star. You cannot tell me the vision to force the ball was not there. All right, overtime. Do we lose any? <laughs> of course we lose anyways. But John Ross is a star. Let's take a look at those yardage. Really damn defense. Chill. 
Yeah, Ross needed every bit of help. He was garbage. I told you. Yeah, you really showed us, John. You really showed us. But hey, he started development with 20,000 XP. Oh my god. All right, here's the uh, the moment you've been waiting for, Mr. Josh Allen. He still wants a ton of money anyways. But we're obviously going to pay him because, yeah, in a moment, you're going to see quite a high overall man. Just saying. Micah Hyde, absolutely, 100%. We'll think about it. We'll think, <laughs> definitely not. Uh, Tremaine Edmonds, not bad. I'm going to give him a seven-year deal and hope he devs up, which I have faith he will. Not bad at all. Uh, Taron Johnson, that's not a bad contract. I might have to give it to him. Uh, and then Bartell, he could be the future at this at that position for us. A three-year deal is quite expensive, though. Two upgrades as a backup this early maybe is superstar, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Star, okay. I, I didn't want to change Ross's number because he's already played for this team. It would be very strange for us to change his number after the fact, but I do agree it is ugly as hell, so I am conflicted to F, but I think we're just going to have to let it happen. This is a big game, but if we win this game, I think we're in the playoffs, and look... At, I mean, I think we were in the playoffs anyways, but look at the motivation. We just beat the Titans, who were 12-3, and three, to now play the Titans as the home team in the playoffs. Of course, hopefully the Titans weren't just keeping it easy on us. It's probably what they're doing. Like, well, we can't make our situation better anyway, so screw it. Hopefully that's not the case, but that's, that's clutch. We finally get to the playoffs here. Josh Allen, 4,300 yards, just about 26 touchdowns, 12 picks. Looking at rushing now. Singletary's yards per carry and his touchdowns aren't bad, but that yards number is just too low for my liking. Ross could go from normal to superstar in one season. I don't think he will just because of the way Madden has been this year, but he could. Knox's season was pretty good. Diggs, very good. O-line, considering who we started, really good. And O-line was good as hell. Prewitt at DT2, 13 and a half sacks. If that doesn't get him to star, that is a scam. Griffin could go to Superstar. Won't matter for us because we're going to let him go. And Oliver, 7.5. Hughes, probably his last season here for us. Edmonds, 2. Milano, more. White, Power, uh, Poyer with a, two picks. Hyde with one. As far as full tackles go, Edmonds and Milano, really good. Could see dev ups for both of them, really. More. Please. Please tell me you went to Star. Please, buddy. I just want Star. That's it. MVP. I don't think we would have had anyone close. Uh, looking at the players of the, of the week or the year, rookie of the year potentially, Sharpton at three, obviously Prewitt at number one. Ain't even mad with that. You know, obviously more. I'm hoping he can get something going, but Prewitt's the future at some sort of position on the D line, maybe even edge this coming season. Awards weren't great outside of Prewitt, but we made the playoffs. I'm happy. MVP Joey Sly. Not bad, actually. Missed three out of 21. That's not bad. All right, looking at the, the game so far, first half we had nothing, but starting off the second half, not bad. It's not how you start, it's how you finish, if you have a good defense at least. <laughs> of course, if you suck on defense, it does matter how you start. Ooh, what's the sitch? The situation is we are leading with a John John Ross has become a star. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I want to come in and watch. Like, I really don't care. Like, I do care if we lose, but, like, I don't want to. I just want to see it. Plus, it's snow. Come on. We don't really have a... Bad, Jerry Hughes isn't that great anymore. I'll, I'll use him. And it's Taylor Lewan. Rest in peace to him. Good D. Corey, oh, I miss the Titans, boys. I miss these guys. Where are they? Over the top. And Johnson, the guy that's going to be let go in a free agency with the game ceiling pick. Oh, man, I miss that Titans team, don't you guys? Oh, it was a squad and a half. It really was. All right, Devin Singletary. Yikes. Uh, okay. It's funny is because that made me moist was actually a very, like, common phrase for me to say. But because I hear it so much on stream from people subbing, and thank you, lads. I appreciate it. Uh, I just stopped saying it because I was like, I'm sick of hearing it. I know everyone else is sick of hearing it. I'm done, you know? <laughs> so there's that. Of course, in the division around the Colts, a team we were actually debating on doing a rebuild for this rebuild uh, is not looking bad. Go to the second quarter, 7-0, India. Oh, God, 14-0. It's just like last game, but a worse defensive performance. Ooh. Oh, we lost. Please. Oh, Buffalo. Oh, Buffalo. Oh, Buffalo. Oh, no. 
Yikes, Indianapolis just rolled us, dude. Yeah, that was something, wasn't it? You need to just pull a Sam and just, like, I know you're not a great roster, but just, like, just win, you know? He's, he's like, thanks, great. I appreciate the support. It means a lot. Uh, looking at this Super Bowl, the Saints win over the Chiefs. Who won the other one? It was the Browns and Cowboys, right? I think. I don't even know. Looking at DevOps, please. John, no. It's all right, John Ross. Uh, I still love you the same. John Ross really, oh, God. John Ross really did have a season and a half. Like, that is the season of the ages. Uh, no dev up for Josh Allen. Doesn't surprise me. No, what does surprise me is no dev up for Edmonds or more. But we still did pretty well. We did pretty well. But that's that's what happens. That's about it. Even though, like I said, I still stand behind my decision. I kind of regret my decision. So Matt Milano is going to get the tag. Unfortunately, that means that Micah Hyde will be let go. Taron Johnson, a three-year 17 is not bad. But if Moore is going to be the number two on this team, maybe we let him go. Bartell, I think this is just a guy you you just sign. I'm just going to make Bartell the long-term number three. He is the new uh, wide receiver guy. What's his name? What's the damn guy's name? We just Cole Beasley. There he is. I don't see a poll. Do you not? It's shoved up my ass. Ah, ah. Joey Sly, Egan, a four-year deal. And, of course, what this means is he will miss a bunch of kicks next season. I cannot wait. Uh, we're going to sign Hughes to a one-year deal, assuming he wants to, because I think we might move Prewitt. Nah, I don't know. Wait, did Prewitt not dev up? I don't want to force any devs, right? I, I really don't. I mean, <laughs> when have I been a guy to enjoy forcing developments? I never do. But... Really? 13 and a half as a rookie, my guy? Oh, Lord. I think we'll do one more season, and then I might just slap something else in there. I can't, though. I'm busy. As far as everyone's going to be mad at me in the comment section, like, you know, you played to get Ross's dev up, and now here you are with this. Prewit was so good. You can't get him, not get him to star, you know? Ross was good. I don't. He doesn't get a dev up. That's fair enough. You know, it makes sense. Kevin Singletary, same. Uh, or Devin, not Kevin. Thinking about Kevin White again. Uh, Josh Allen, you know, didn't really play that well. Defensively, there were some names, but ultimately, Prewood is the one guy I could not allow to just not have a dev up. That is just insanely disrespectful. J.J. Watt to Buffalo. I feel like he fits really well. Calvin Ridley, though. I don't see Calvin Ridley being left, though. Leighton Vander. Okay, this is a contract. Even though the Steelers love to overpay, I could get behind this contract. We got money. Not a crazy amount of money. We got, mmm, Rashawn. Rashawn never signs with us. But today's the day. Uh, looking at the signings, Agnew for four years is the return man. Rashawn Evans. We've beat him. Right off. What? Rashawn Evans for a four-year deal. Will be a starting linebacker, of course. Uh, Kimoko Ture. I wanted Brandon Ingram, but Ture is going to be our starting edge, I believe. And then Ronald Jones. A little bit of a mix-up here. Trading Devin Singletary maybe for a high second, perhaps? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We actually get both safeties. Devin McCourty and Edmonds. Edmonds will be the replacement for Poyer. Depending on Poyer's, like, loss, I like Poyer a lot, and I think he's actually super underrated. It's just a guy nobody ever talks about. I think we might have to let him go just in this situation. He's not a bad player. Hmm, he's not a bad player. We're going to keep Poyer for one more year. Let him, uh, let him go to free agency on his own. Decide where he wants to go. Big fan of Ed Oliver. Uh, of course, I will be signing him long term. So I will not be requiring the fifth year option. Michael Jackson. The king of pop. There you go. The king of pop. Maybe uh, one of our worst realism trades. But 35, 89, and Michael Jackson himself. Uh, and all of his success for pick 19. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Something tells me hidden. But at the very same time, I could easily see this being a bust. We're doing it. <laughs> no. Every time. I mean, you look at this guy and you're like, wow, not a bad guard if he had freaking dev. All right, so pick 25. A fifth this, a fifth next for 50 and 82 from the Bears. I mean, it should have been just straight up, honestly. But it is what it is. Hopefully they draft someone bad. <laughs> 
So hopefully our center's there, because if not, we lost another center. He is Spencer Atkinson. This guy's going to be normal as well. <gasps> we did it! Spencer Atkinson, 70 overall, hidden development. He's pumped. Could be superstar if they brought that animation back, which I would love. Finally, EA, finally. And it said he was supposed to go 50. Uh, picked 57, Jaquan Johnson for 33. I think that's fair, right? They're going to pick this year, develop the guy right away. And, uh, you know, the worst case scenario, it is the number one pick in the third, uh, second round. As a team, you got to believe in yourself, right? Maybe not your first round pick, but you got to believe in yourself enough, right? Uh, not necessarily needing the cornerback position the most, but as of what is best available, this guy stands out the most. Kendall Wilkins, and we were right, but the dev is wrong. He's just a backup. He's just a backup, simply put. Nothing else you can do about it. All right, so as far as the draft goes, we landed one hidden development out of, is this three drafts now? Let's go. Star development. So that it doesn't have anything to do with it. We're going to put him at left guard. I think we will be getting rid of Quentin Spain now. Quentin Spain, Quentin Spain. I really want to see the center because if this guy has hidden, I'm going to cry. I'm pretty sure this is the guy. Okay, I'm not going to cry, but like, I want to. So the center we wanted did have star. Gotta love seeing that, especially in offensive linemen. You can't get that dev'd up on your own, so. Quentin Spain for Darren Lee. Okay, I mean, that's not a terrible trade. Spain for Darren Lee. Darren Lee is just a backup for us right now. But if we did lose uh, Milano, which we very well could, we at least have a replacement. But year three, season three, I feel like this roster has been at a stalemate for a while now. Uh, dipped for a new running back. Ronald Jones obviously looks ecstatic to be here. Josh Allen looks like he just got bullied by a bunch of school kids, and his mom still said, hey, I paid 50 bucks for these photos. You got to take them. Uh, Knox is just happy to be here. Diggs, still mad at the Vikings. Bartell, he's just staring at my soul. I'm scared. Ross, he actually looks like he's he knows what he's doing. Uh, the O-line is just like, we're the Bills O-line. This isn't good. And I'm, uh, <laughs> Tredavious White doesn't know how to smile. Uh, Devin McCourty is just happy as hell. And I'm done, uh, you know, making fun of people's pictures now. Oh, damn, Dwayne Prewitt. Actual god, superstar development. Nice. Uh, well, I'm going to be honest. It's it's just not looking good. Ed Oliver, he's, uh, he's star development. He's really, I mean, he's good on, you know, on paper, but, uh, there's that. Milano, I mean, that's just another tag. I am sorry, Milano. You're still getting paid. You're not getting injured. Just be happy, you know, I guess. Like, you're getting paid top dollar. You're just not secure, which obviously is a huge part of contracts, obviously. Cody Ford wants... I didn't even notice Cody Ford on the list. All right, Cody Ford, welcome to uh, welcome to hell again. You return. Uh, no escaping us. Unlucky, man. All right, headed, uh, headed to the playoffs. It's not looking good. I'll just be honest. It's it's definitely not looking good. It is a 5-11 and 11 season. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it's just, like, it's not a bad roster. I'm not going to show you, like, wins and losses because, like, I don't care and we're streaming this. So, like, if I cheated, it would be for the better. Oh, we made a poor decision. Ronald Jones isn't it. Running has been sad for us. Ross, not bad. Diggs, not bad. Knox, not bad. And everyone else, just, nope. Uh, of course, Deion Dawkins, really bad season. Uh, right tackle, Singer, not bad season. Uh, Rashawn Evans, good. Moore, good. Edmonds, good. Sack totals. Ture, not bad at all, actually. Prewitt, meh. But he is superstar. Oliver, seven pick totals. He actually had a couple of decent picks. Joey Sly, similar to the other season, but this time he actually got blocked once. Yikes. The Browns, is that two of them? Bison, barely have them. Aren't they, like, going extinct? That's us. All right, so the Browns win the Super Bowl. We miss the playoffs. We get no dev ups. What's freaking new? As far as dev ups go, though, we did get one for Tremaine Edmonds, which is, I mean, it's nice, but we're still playing like absolute dog anus. Oh, no, we got more. Nice. I love when we get more than one dev up. One more. Mm -hmm. All right, so resignings. Uh, Milano. Another tag, huh? All right, Milano, let's just get it over with. Like, let's, you, you know, you get the gist. It's tag season. I was just about to actually sign Milano finally, but okay, I guess uh, we'll keep overpaying him three mil per year. I don't care. It's fine. Uh, as far as the guys we signed, backup, potential starter, backup, starter. Nothing special, just 
you know, filled up some spots we lost some players in. I would say running back, but honestly, like, Ronald Jones is a good player. He's just not doing well, so maybe you just need a pure trucking back, I guess. I don't know. Uh, as far as wide receivers, once again, we're set there. Just got to play better. Uh, O-line, maybe a tackle, I guess. But overall, I mean, really just worried about the replacement or needing to replace Morse and or Deion Dawkins. As far as defensively goes, DT2, DN number one on the left side at least. I mean, it's not a bad team. We're not developing super well, but like there's not really much we can do to really upgrade perhaps, you know, per se. You don't need a wide receiver. Oh, oh my God, you don't need a wide receiver, but like it's literally Julio Jones. Bears, can we get a, a first off of them next year as well? I think that's fair. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to take a look and see what they valued that at. I don't think we... Nah, we should have gotten more, maybe. It was pretty close, I'd say. Oh, God, we were way off. We should have gotten, like, a third or a second off of that. There's that. We gotta go for this guy, though, right? Mr. Gary Mills, maybe it's a reach. He looks so good, you can't pass on him, right? And you should have. And you should have. Of course, in a user league, normal sucks ass. But he is very talented. Super fast. Great finesse. Gotta see... Uh, this is heading into year four, yes. Got to see what these other pass rushers are like. Aries McElroy. I don't remember if that was one of them or not. I honestly cannot remember. Jose Moss. Is that Moss? Yes. Jose Moss, 74 overall. Hidden development. A little too slow to play, uh, you know, edge. But a really good DT and uh, happy to have him. If he's not hidden, it's a bad player. Whatever. Damn it, not whatever. The safety's been so bad for me because it's like... It's a position you could definitely develop on your own, but it usually doesn't develop, right? I'm still probably going to draft that DT later, even though we don't need him. Yo, best available. I'm taking him. Best available. Jeremy Hills in the third round. Got to take him. 72 overall normal. Uh, solid QB. Just was not worth it. Uh, Mr. Marcus Pleasant, early fourth. He is 24, but he skipped the combine. Can't skip him. And we should have. Yikes. We, uh, we kind of sold a little bit lately. I ain't gonna lie. Roberto Valdez, too much speed not to take him. Did not expect hidden, and we do not get hidden. As far as usering goes, uh, I mean, decent, but that catching is bad. Fullback in the sixth, and then we trade down everything else. 67 overall, uh, true. Not happy with that one at all. We'll take a look at the guys we missed. Hopefully, they're all bad. Maybe this guy will be X-Factor. What happened to Jacoby Jones? He got old. Start of element. This draft took a turn for the worse, and I mean very worse. Aaron Gandy obviously hit an 80 overall. You know, if this guy's in the X Factor like I expect him to be, uh, we probably should have traded up and gotten him. Yikes, they have so many Chase Young clones, it's ridiculous. Eric Hayward was normal development. I mean, don't get me wrong, absolute monster. Injury toughness and stamina are a little bit low, but... Really good player, just no dev. Season four incoming here for the Buffalo Bills. I mean, we haven't changed much on offense. You know, we have Atkinson. But as far as, you know, coming from last offseason is in the offseason to this, other than maybe a backup or two, we haven't done much. But we felt like we don't need to. Number one wide receiver, he's, what, what is his rank? Top five in the league, probably. Literally top five, ranked number five. Uh, Josh Allen, at this point, top ten, probably. Seven. Uh, don't get me wrong, Ross ain't going to be that high, but maybe like 20, 35. Okay, fair enough. Knox, that's probably top 12. Exactly at 12. I'm a wizard. Uh, O-line's not that bad. I mean, it's pretty average consistently across the board with other teams, I would say. As far as defensively goes, best D, one of the best DTs. I mean, this got to be top 11, I would say. Eight. Uh, Pre-wit, probably not super high, but maybe like 19. 10, actually. Uh, Tredavious White, that's that's number three or four, I would say. Five. I mean, it's a good squad. It really is. Top five uh, front seven, considering how good the linebackers are. It's just we haven't played well in Sim. We gotta, we just got to change that around. Hopefully, we get lucky. Bro, I don't understand why Sim is so bad. Like, we're just sucking. Remember when I said, do you guys recall a single rebuild where the Bills win the Super Bowl in our rebuilds? No, you don't, because it's literally impossible. Because for whatever reason, the game is just broke. Wow, Diggs wants a lot of money, but he deserves it. Stephon Diggs wants, like, quarterback money at this rate almost, but I got to give it to him because he's easily our best guy. Milano might actually be let go at this point. He might actually be let go. As far as the other re-signings go, I don't think we need to re-sign anyone. This is... 
I don't know what's going on, dude. I don't understand. This is so stupid. I'm going to compare. Obviously, we haven't really had many successful seasons. But after this, I'm going to compare. Ooh. If the Jets lose and we win, I'm just saying. Yo! <laughs> Yo! What are the chances of that? Complaining about what's happening in the game. And we win four straight to steal the division from the Jets, I would assume. I don't think the Jets are in the playoffs either. Damn. Wow, our uh, our team sucks here. Josh Allen, bad. Ron Ronald Jones, bad. Receivers, all bad. Blocking, kind of bad. Defensively, bad. Picks, good job, Rashawn. Everyone else, bad. Sly, bad. Drew Wagner, meh. Yo, how do we... I mean, I know we're 8-8, eight and eight, but, like, we played so... I don't know, dude. I just... I don't understand how we have such a good roster and we just can't make it happen. Like, Crowder's the best wide receiver in the league for the Jets. That's just proof of how bad this is. I'm gonna take a look at the roster for the league. I just... I don't understand. Even though, because obviously the more you win, the more playoff trips you have the higher overall is going to be. But like, I suppose comparatively, we aren't... Like, we're not crazy good, but we're not bad either. Like, we're on par, if not better than, like, 85% of the teams. Yet, we're always bad. But, even though we're playing badly, apparently, we're still in the postseason. But we are about to play the Baltimore Ravens. So, this is about to get real ugly, real, real ugly, real fast. 89 overall to their 90 D'Angelo Brown. Was he actually a really... Oh, yeah, he's the superstar linebacker. He turned to X-Factor already. Nice. Nice. Good start. 7 to nothing. We give up a touchdown instantly. Get another touchdown instantly, though. Give up a touchdown instantly. Do not get a touchdown. And we've lost. Please, defense. Thank you. They get the field goal before half, but we're fighting hard considering it is the Baltimore Ravens, whether they have a bye week or not or home game or not. We're doing well. Please. No, no, no. They do not get the two point, and we're about to choke, aren't we? Bro, five-point lead. Come on, offense. Yo. Yo. Three, four straight plays of no yards gained from the seven. No way, dude. There is an... I can't accept that, dude. Zero yards from the seven? You don't run it once? Nah, dude. Nah. Nah. And first time in, like, this history... We're not just going to sim it. We're going back in and watching again. And if we get in that situation, I'm coming in. Because this game sucks. Simply put. Alright, this is a, a worse version of last game. I don't care. EA Sim has been garbage all this all this damn rebuild. I'll redo it every damn time. I don't care. I'm sick and tired of this game being the way it is. Yo. Yo, yo, what is it? The Bills choking worse than the Atlanta? I'm sorry. Why are they so bad? This team just keeps choking and choking and choking, man. This team loves to choke. That's a tough one. I suck at this game. We dropped it. I looked away. Yo, I'm sad. Uh-oh. Like, you have Y, but you don't have Y because if you... John Ross is the fastest human of all time. Do we just take digs? If he's one-on-one, -on -one, I'm taking him. He's not one-on-one. -on -one. It's a little late. Hold on. What a dime. If he didn't have that throw power, if he had 98, 97, 96, 95, 94, 93, 92, 91, any of those, no touchdown, maybe even a pick. The 99 throw power, I just did not trust it. And I was like, you know what? He is actually pretty open. I'm going to take that. What a dot. We're moving on. I don't care. Unless we miss this and they pick six it or something. Or they take it all the way. We win the game. Let's go. Moving on to the next round. Cry all you want about restarting. They, This team deserves it. They really do. Look at this ground game. Expertise. Hey, at least Lamar ran a lot. Receiving, though. Yikes. J.K. Dobbins just crushed it. How do you play that bad on defense when you're the Bills and we made them better? We have the Bills from real life, but better. What a run. 
by John Ross on that one, though. Going up against the Colts, this would be a really strange one for us to win because I don't feel like we deserve to win a Super Bowl with this team, but to not have made the playoffs in any of those seasons and then we uh, you know, barely make it here. As much as our, our roster, like we said, we showed it was like like in the top 20 percentile if it wasn't for all of the losses like we had bad seasons like pick nine pick uh pick three if we didn't have those seasons you know those reflect bad seasonal stats which means you aren't getting xp if we had two playoff seasons instead of those even if we lost the first round this team's in the 90s you know it's it's simply put uh colts are kind of getting beat here but not by much and as you can see it really is not by notch because it's not looking com you know confident at all it's the fourth quarter i don't know if i trust this team offense gets there we're only up by four though defense makes the stop offense clutching up this could be a championship round run and it will be 26 to 21 i believe maybe 22 here we go here we go james winston bad josh allen really good uh, rushing. I just don't understand the run game here. Even though we changed the schemes a few times, you know, the actual Bills run game, terrible. Patriots scheme, terrible. Chiefs scheme, terrible. No run game in any of them. Just none. Current moment in time, Chubb is a lot of fun. Speaking of, I would assume he's still here. Zero. And I mean zero success in this game. Yo, no. I can't. It's the Bills. Browns. They're so cheese, dude. EA has got to hop off the freaking cock. No, I did not. They actually love the Browns. Who works there that is gagging for the Browns? We're just going to sim this one. If we lose, we lose. Of course we lose. Uh, I'm... Take a look at the conference championship where the Browns, shocking, are in the freaking Super Bowl. Nice. Glad to see new teams showing up in the Super Bowl every time. Super fun. <laughs> what a joke, dude. It's always the same team. Like, it's so boring. Uh, I mean, the Browns have been getting special treatment for years now. It's been two or three seasons now in real life. They finally have a freaking winning record. Who knows how long that'll last. And they're, they're even better. I think that's going to be it, boys. Uh, near a four-hour stream, all Madden Rebuild. I mean, like that, I deserve some sort of medal. I really should have put on like 100 odds because holy crap, what a grind today. I might just call it there. Honestly, I just don't know where this team goes. Let me look at this roster and see if we have any dev-ups. And that might be it. Like, that's all I can really say. Uh, Mills didn't dev-up. Edmonds goes to Superstar X-Factor. We just didn't get better in any of those positions. Who can get better? Honestly, Prewitt maybe a little bit better, I suppose. Uh, Moss, I guess, a little bit better. We're not going to get better at safety yet. Linebacker's not going to get any better. This is literally peak. O-line's not going to get much better. Wide receiver's not going to get much better. I mean, we're literally peaked here. I honestly think this might be... This might be it. Maybe we do a part two of this, but I think this is going to go on YouTube as is. So I'm going to do a proper uh, outro here, and that will be the end of the stream as well. So once again, if you're watching this on YouTube, appreciate you a ton. This is kind of a failed rebuild. You know, we backed out a few times in playoffs, and just even then we couldn't get it done. This Bills team, it just didn't work. Let me know what you guys think I did wrong. Uh, of course, there could have been better devs and, you know, hidden devs in the draft, but ultimately a lot of teams took normal uh, development players. So that's just something you can't really control. The run game... It was bad. It was so bad for us, no matter who the hell the running back was. But ultimately, we made the playoffs twice. We won one game twice. I think this last one was two, but obviously we kind of cheated. So, I don't know. Maybe in the future we come back to this, but sorry, Bills fans. At least you're doing better in real life than I did here, technically. So, <laughs> it is what it is there. Once again, thanks for watching. If you guys did enjoy me, maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Trumpy Karen. Of course, there's people watching the stream right now. Technically, for you, it's not because the future you're watching a video of it, uh, edition of it. Maybe check out the streams, Trumpy Care on Twitch.tv slash Trumpy Care. There will be some sort of stream tonight, maybe Washington, and then like a non Madden game to uh, this time. And of course, that is about it. Any suggestions for challenges in the future, series ideas, rebuild teams in general, let me know. 
Thanks for watching. Hope you guys come back for next video or stream. But until next video or stream, see ya!